Good morning. My name is Chad Cantrell. I'm an engineer with the City of Raleigh's Engineering Services Department and Roadway and Design Construction Division. I'm also the project manager for the Six Forks project. We kicked off design on the Six Forks project back in October with a virtual pre-designed public touch point where we asked users to provide feedback on the original corridor study. We use that information to help guide our design and the results of that survey can be found at the project website raleighnc.gov slash projects and just search for Six Forks. We are focusing on several key design elements in our early design at this point. Uh, specifically, we're looking at lane widths, protected intersections, and speed limits to provide a complete streets type project from Lynn Road to Rowan Street. And complete streets just means that we're providing a safe and comfortable environment for all users, including vehicular, pedestrian, and cycle traffic. So the three design elements that we're focusing on, uh, we'll start with the lane width. Specifically, we're looking at narrower lanes from Lynn Road to Rowan Street, along with strategic tree plantings to provide a traffic calming effect to help slow down the traffic along Six Forks. In addition to that, we are also looking at modifying the speed limit from Millbrook Road to Lynn Road from 45 miles per hour to 35 miles per hour to also enhance uh, safety for all users. And the final uh, major design element we're looking at is protected intersections. So these protected intersections are fairly new to North Carolina, but have been successfully used across the world to protect uh, pedestrians and cyclists crossing at intersections. And these, uh, these new, newer intersections reduce the curb return radius to help slow traffic making that right turn, as well as setting back the crosswalk from the main road to provide uh, improved visibility for these uh, cyclists and pedestrians crossing traffic. The project will include public art. We recently completed artist interviews and selected former Raleigh native Carrie Galt to perform that public art. Keep an eye on the project website as we will be having several meetings with residents and neighbors to help guide the direction for this public art. So what's next? Well, we plan to reach back out to residents here this spring with our next virtual public touch point. At that meeting, we'll have more uh, information and maps for you to review. Later this summer, we will also present to the City Council to authorize moving forward with real estate purchasing of easements, which we anticipate to happen later this fall. Please make sure you keep an eye out on the project website, which again is raleighnc.gov projects, and just search for Six Forks. Thanks, and have a good day.